Hello, it's Not Bad Cat here on December 9th, 2022, with your weekly Rimworld Mod updates and uploads. I would like to give the modder Kaz a huge shout out this week. He is part of the Music Expanded team I covered last week and also released the Typhon mod if you like the Alien Creatures from Prey 2016. I'll leave the links in my description. He made me a script to automate downloading workshop images. It saves me so much time. Especially this week because Thanksgiving weekend was busy. We're gonna blitz through a lot of them because they're super simple, but sometimes that's exactly what you need. And how could I decide to cut 25 mods and leave the other 25? Better grab some go juice because you're in for a ride with this week's mods. Walls Are Solid by Victor is going to add a bit of believability and a use for that breach X. I'll start up front by saying that mining is unaffected. This is all about attacking structures. And I'll keep it simple. In vanilla, all that matters is damage. With this mod, the type of damage matters. Blunt is better than sharp and ranged. Blunt weapons with heads, like maces and hammers, have increased damage with the head part, except some idiots attack with the handle. Explosions are much weaker compared to vanilla, but are still the best way to destroy structures. And everything else. The breach axe and thump cannon bullet haven't been changed at all. They're still absolutely devastating to structures. Modded weapons that use the vanilla damage stripes will be affected by this mod, and combat extended? Maybe future. Wood is Natural for Trees by Soki changes Anima, Granlin, and Pollux trees, plus nature shrines to be perfectly okay with anything stuffable being made out of woody material. This includes modded materials so long as it uses the woody type, but you could configure it to accept whatever materials you like. Adobe Adobe by Jomokin adds the adobe brick, one of the first building blocks of civilization. The adobe mixing research unlocks a mixing table and baking frame. Plant lots of hay to make adobe mix, put it in the frame and wait two days. Compared to stone walls, it has milling HP and is not pretty, but it's renewable and doesn't take much work to build. It's great starting material to get lots of walls up quickly. Mechs Don't Die by Cathanon changes one thing. The death letters for your mechs will now say Destroyed, Fabricor 1, instead of Death, Fabricor 1. Simple. Invincible Boss Loot by Killerbug makes the Signal Chip, Power Focus Chip, and Nano Structuring Chips invulnerable because how many of you have lost the very thing you wanted from summoning the mech raid? In the chaos, it's pretty darn easy to do, especially with exploding mechs everywhere. More Mechanoid Labor Precepts by TurboTax2019 adds two precepts, Mechanoid Labor Preferred, and Reliant. At Preferred, Mech Work Speed is increased by 35% and Pawn Global Work Speed decreases by 14%. Reliant changes it to 50% and negative 25% for Mechanoids and Pawns respectively. Because why would you do the work a Mechanoid can do for you? Give Me Christian Values by Giant Monster Games adds Christian Values as a meme with several required precepts. Yes, Christian is a style, but Ludion for good reason went very light on including real-world religions because, uh, because humans are irrational, emotional beings. Like, emotions make your decisions and you use logic to justify it and have to make sense. So, no. There's no I don't like it, so it shouldn't exist as a mod here. The mod adds the meme and some art. It's like a shorthand for getting the precepts for your colony or other factions. Treat your colony like a monastery or go on crusades. Or vampires because Christians love their vampires. The allure of the forbidden, the temptation. Okay, what, what kind of mod do I put after this? Uh, here we go. Worship and Sacrifice by Porous Boat. Yeah, I'm going there. They love this too. <clears throat> Worship and Sacrifice by Porous Boat adds two new precepts, worship and sacrifice to any theist foundation or structure. Like recreation or hunger, pawns will have a worship or sacrifice need. Similar to meditation, pawns will seek out places to pray with better rooms, increasing the need faster. Sacrifices will need a ritual. Prisoner or animal sacrifice and gladiator duel are options. All sacrifices will be unlocked for theist structures. Ritual Size Attenuation by Raycheck changes the participant quality factor to scale off of your total colonist population until it would hit the normal cap. It defaults to 75% of colonist population, so a four-pawn colony would only need three pawns to participate for max quality. Larger populations would use the normal vanilla cap of 10, 
but you have the option to continue using scaling or have extra participants go above max quality. How much is configurable? Architect Monument Pulse Remover by Heretic Angel is for those of you that want to do the Architect ending, but the monument's visual pulse is too much and you don't like that the pulse kills plants and pawn mood. There's still the too close mood malice, but it's great if you wanted to build a base in and around the Nexus. It's their first mod, so they will have to look into adding options to disable visuals but keep the effects. If you can, help them out. Otherwise, disabling visuals only may be a separate mod. Vanilla Hairs Retextured by Horai Haiku is for those of you that use the anime style facial animation heads. It always bothered me that vanilla hair didn't fit and it was enough that I didn't use it. This mod is the solution. It replaces vanilla hair with better resolution retextures for those big eyed, narrow faced pawns. The vanilla expanded heads use the vanilla head shape, so use a regular hair retexture mod instead of this. Kid Dusters by Jomokin solves that little problem of children getting heat stroke in hot environments. Like the child size parka, Kid Dusters have their costs, work, and protection values scaled to adult versions. Storage Shells by Seos adds a few shelves, carcass hook, and if using Alchemist Simple Utilities Fridge mod, a fridge. Shocker, I know. The middle and big shelves allow six stacks per space, but items will deteriorate and contribute to environmental beauty. So just like tossing them on the floor, but condensed. The carcass hook accepts up to three dead animals. Yeah, animals. The differences in fridges is that there's only one stack in this mod while Owl Chemist is three stacks. You know, so your food doesn't mix. Literally Just a Sofa by Dr. Stupid is... What do you expect? Rather than make two armchairs for your flat screen TV, why not make the more realistic choice of a two wide sofa? Everyone seems to be surprised that this wasn't a thing before in the comments. Adjustable Temperature Events by Text Slash Makari add settings to change heat wave and cold snap temperature ranges. Heat waves normally increase temperature from 10 to 20 degrees Celsius, but you could set it from 0 to 50 degrees Celsius. Cold snaps can be similarly adjusted to negative 50 to 0 degrees Celsius. This is for you if vanilla extreme temperatures just aren't enough. Save Faction Temps by KJ changes the temperature range for other factions to arrive on your map. Normally, below 40 degrees Celsius or above 45 degrees Celsius, humanoid factions just won't visit you. So it's all mechanoids. This mod expands it from negative 65C up to 70C. So if you enjoy colonies with extreme temperatures, this mod might be handy. Random Factions by Dr. Ciano adds some nice lack of decision making, especially if you've loaded up a bunch of mods that create factions. Tell the game how many of each kind of faction you want. Neutral, aggressive, hostile, or completely random. Hidden factions like Mechanoid, Insect, and Empire will never be randomly selected. You'll be able to see the placement of the various types of factions when choosing a map, but the specific faction is hidden until you start the game. Cocoa Trees Regrow by The Blind One makes cocoa trees behave like trees. The entire tree doesn't die each harvest. It will yield 10 chocolate instead of 20, but after harvest, it goes back to 50% grown. That saves you a bunch of time having to replant. In the settings, you can configure what the growth percent is after harvest and the amount of chocolate per harvest. Vanilla Anima Tox by Five replaces the anima tree textures to the sickly green, decayed appearance that requires pollution to grow. It's a replacement, not an additional anima tree, so only use it if you're planning on playing a pollution colony. Toxic Plants Expanded by Inertial Mage adds three plants that would go well in a toxic colony. Toxic Strand is your replacement for Devil Strand. Toxic Root is not a replacement for Healer. No, it's industrial medicine. The small side effect of giving the pawn toxic buildup. And the Blood Rose is a green, ethically sourced, zero weight, organic, sustainable, biodegradable, carbon neutral hemogen packs that has never been tested on animals free of artificial ingredients, uses 100% recycled packaging, is low emissions, certified by the USDA and Energy Star, locally sourced and free of toxins. This is the last mod I'm writing the script for. My brain is dead. I wrote the entire script today, 
it's Friday and it's 30 mods. This isn't being posted on Friday, that's for sure. I don't even know how I'm ordering the mods, so this could be smack dab in the middle. I don't even know why I decided to. Zone Message Control by JKJKLOLTK421Storm is perfect for that zone you keep all the tainted clothing in the river. Each zone and shelf will have a show hide messages toggle. Disable messages on any zones you don't want to be notified about deteriorating items or dying plants. Categorize bill menus by Cathanon greatly helps in finding the bill you want using multiple nested menus. I can finally see all of one type of thing. Clothing is the worst. You can also favorite certain recipes so they're quick to find in the favorites menu. You're also able to decide what categories should be submenus, which don't need to be. Nutrient Paste Dispenser Command by Pure MJ adds gizmos to the Nutrient Paste Dispenser to create 1, 5, or 25 meals with a button. This means you don't have to use the draft on draft methods to stock up on nutrient paste meals anymore. Colored Lights Make Sunlap More Efficient by Sky as a Nerd reduces the power needed from 2900 watts down to 2030 watts when colored lights are researched. It's a nice in-game benefit for what was otherwise a completely optional research. Make Sterile Tile Beautiful Again by HRG164HJO changes the beauty of sterile tile floors from negative one to positive one. The 1.4 update changed it from zero to negative one, but it did make it quick to clean. I expect it's a balancing thing. If you didn't like that, this mod will make sterile tile your go-to for covering the base. Don't say 100% unless you mean it by Cathanon forces the game to only show 100% when it really is 100% infection. No more rounding up and sitting on the edge of your seat as your best colonist tries to survive an infection in their torso. Endless Growth by Slime Senpai is a 1.4 update slash fork slash inspired by Duck's Insane Skills, which hasn't been updated to 1.4 yet, but it is being worked on over at its GitHub. This removes the skill cap of 20, going all the way up to 100. Slime Senpai has a few recommended mods to make full use of high skills. There's much more to come, but one change is removing the limit on quality. You want masterwork upon masterwork? Legendary quality is possible too. Chicken Nest by Owl Chemist disallows all other animals from sleeping in a chicken nest. They also make it easy for other modders to use this mod for other animal bets. It's pretty easy to add animals like ducks to this mod's code. Animals like hay by Just Peachy. In vanilla, evidently you can't feed hay to downed animals. It can't be used to tame animals either, which makes no sense. So go get this mod to fix that. Oops All Bug Parts by Vitamin Sarah gives you so much visual customization for your insectoid xenotypes. Based on alpha genes and VE swords, but neither required, there's genes for antennae, beetle horns and wings, abdomens, scorpion pincers, and more. There's a variety of head shapes too, so mantises can look different from bees. Vitamin Sarah is new to modding, so the heads aren't compatible with facial animations yet. There's many more bug parts and other mechanics to be added in the future. And that was the mod updates and uploads for December 9th, 2022. I'll try to be brief. I'm tired. You know the drill. Like, subscribe, join Discord, support me on Patreon, and tell others about it. And modders, don't be afraid to reach out to me, especially if I'm mispronouncing your name. There's potential to do something more as well. And sometimes, I have questions about your mod and have to track you down. Anyways, I'll see you in next week's updates and uploads. This is Not Bad Cat, signing out.